Attack is basically a knowledge base of adversary behavior um, that's distilled out to the, the common actions um, across many different um, intrusion groups. It's important because it provides a common language uh, for both offense and defense to use um, in a way that's understandable to C-suite executives who are actually making the funding decisions for acquisition of new products, for um, hiring new personnel and, and training. So it's important for the red teams and penetration testers to use attack um, because it's a way for them to figure out scenarios uh, or plans of action for their intrusion. It's a better way to manage your cyber defense program because it, it exploits the, an opportunity of understanding what modern exploit uh, methodologies are, decomposing those things into what through that kill chain look to take place, and then evaluating your exposure against that. Attack was really developed with the industry in mind. Um, because we want them to use it um, as a way to improve uh, their defenses, um, improve their capabilities against threats um, uh, to better stop that sort of activity. But as there's been more adoption of attack, um, we've been getting a lot more contributions because people want to um, see it continue to grow and be useful for them. Um, and so that's, that's uh, really important for the industry. Your traditional governance organization is evolving and you're starting to see that. You see that evolution starting to take place and that's where I think this is really an interesting hook market in that, uh, that attack simulation will be part of the regulatory response capabilities coming in the next five years or so.